Condolences are pouring in this morning for Jones, who died yesterday. The hit maker and composer was also celebrated for his TV and film producing, and he has, of course, strong ties to the Seattle area. He was born in Chicago, but his family moved to Bremerton in the early 1940s, and then they made their way here to Seattle. Now, the Garfield High School alum followed his passion for music, working with musical greats like Duke Ellington and Ray Charles. Looking live this morning out to Garfield High School, where the Performing Arts Center is named after Mr. Jones. More on his accomplishments throughout the show, but he also produced albums for Ella Fitzgerald, Aretha Franklin, Michael Jackson. Their work also together led to Thriller in 1982. Still the best-selling album of all time. Jones' family says he died peacefully at his home in Bel Air, California, surrounded by close relatives, including his seven children. Jones in Seattle here in 2008 when the Quincy Jones Performing Arts Center was dedicated to his name. He talked to a crowd of hundreds at the time and quizzed high school students on street jazz music. Jones credited Garfield High School teachers with letting him follow his passion. Listen. Parker always forgave me uh, when we were working nightclubs at 14 at Washington Social Club with Ray Charles because he said, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. That's your passion. And so we'd get off work at 530. I couldn't get to the 9 o'clock class. Mm. Jones graduated Garfield High School in 1950, again dying peacefully yesterday at the age of 91. He talked about how Seattle was such a huge uh, part of changing the course of his life for the mm -hmm. better. Uh, and he's obviously come back to Seattle many times to visit students at Garfield because that's one of the things he was passionate about is giving back and mentoring young artists. 28 Grammy Awards too. 28, just what a, a legend. legend. So yeah. cool too.